I'm taking them for walks this morning. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. There's Ruby. Hi, Ruby. Come on, everybody. <coughs> sheep, sheep, sheep. Come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Don't run me over. <laughs> Well, hi, Ruby Sue. She's walking right by me. Oh, were you helping Grizz? Grizz was helping. Okay. I just thought this would be fun to take everybody for a little walk. And I saw on Instagram, I saw Utopia Farms doing this. And I thought, well, if she can do it, I can do it. But honestly, I think she did a better job than I did. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. So I'm going to flip this back around. Yay, and it kept recording. Okay, cool. Hi, Grizz. Yes, did you help? You did. You helped. I know you're a helper dog. So I thought I would take everybody. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we're going to walk up here to the new land and see, I keep calling it the new land. It's not new anymore. It's not even new to us anymore, really. But you guys know what I mean. There's Janie and there's Miss Ruthie. Yes. Um, just trying to get a, an idea again as to how the grazing's doing. <clears throat> but I'm thrilled to see. Our pond still has water. Yay! Ah, oh, that means our well still has water. We need the pond for the well to not go dry, I guess. If I'm understanding what my husband said. Look at Radigas' little tail. <clears throat> yeah, there's stuff that just cracks me up. Yes, you're a handsome fellow and you've got a cute little tail. Like, don't. Don't talk about my tail all the time. Oh, they're wet. I don't think it rained last night. I think it's just dew. Yes, you're all very dewy. Oh, my goodness. Yes, you're so wet, Ruby Sue. Okay, so. <coughs> okay, Ruby keeps stopping in front of me. That's not helpful. Oh, Grizz is so happy. You a happy dog. Yes. Okay, so let me try to finish a thought here. Uh, wanted to walk up. Forgive my huffing and puffing. I just literally got out of bed. <laughs> I literally got out of bed. Chris Traeger from Parks and Rec cracks me up. I cannot say the word literally anymore without thinking of him. Anyway, um, coming down here. Hello, cupcake. There is still, there's still food, guys. Oh my goodness. It's August 19th and there is still food. Now the trick is getting them to go down there. So that's why I figured, oh, my nose, I would walk. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they don't listen. Come on, guys. Mommy's going this way. Come on, Garnet. Yes, you handsome boy. <clears throat> so hopefully I am still filming sheep while I'm walking down the hill. So every morning I get up and I sound like I smoke. I am not a smoker. I've never been a smoker. <coughs> but blah. I mean, it's just, the air looks so much better than it has, but there's still, like there's still an air quality alert going on. So I think right now we're all smokers, unfortunately. Blah. Okay. So walking down here, there's my Grizz. Here's my good boy, huh? Yeah. 
Come on, babies. Hi. They've really eaten a lot of food out here. This is good. Yeah, and you're a wonderful dog. Yes. Okay, let's go back up to hopefully filming them while I walk down here. Okay. I don't think I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Come on, Garnet. Oh, maybe I'll go up a little. They're so funny. I, I think they're coming down here to eat. But they really, really, really want company. I mean, who wants to eat alone? Come on. I, I see what they're getting at. But but come on, you guys. There's food down here. Oh, oh, freckles. Did you get left behind, honey? No, Don't pick a fight with Rohan, please. Freckles and Cupcake and Deer were all fighting the other day. Deer and Cupcake beaten up on freckles so I suspect that um, I think freckles might have gone into heat it's early but I was talking to Charlene yesterday and she thinks that her one of her goats maybe had gone into heat because the weather cooled off I think one or maybe more I can't remember now what she said but I thought yeah that's probably what was going on with freckles and Cupcake and Deer didn't like the smell of her, but that seems to have stopped now. But Freckles, I swear, is always the one getting left behind. Like, oh, I didn't know you guys were going all the way over here. Hey, you got to keep up with your flock, sweet girl. So I'm looking, and I think, yeah, they are eating this. So down here, it looks brown, but there's still some green sticking out, green coming up, and it's been nibbled on, so... You guys do come down here. This is good. I probably didn't need to worry. But it's what I do. So, I'm not... I didn't spray for ticks, which I should have done. I keep hoping we're done with ticks for the year, but... Anyway, I'm not going to go into the really tall grass. I'm going to stop right here, and then pan forward and yeah there is still a lot to eat oh I'm so thankful every time I swear you guys are going to be like oh my gosh it's another video she's talking about how thankful she is but this is this is amazing so the last two three years I've had to start feeding hay in August pardon me and if we had not had this new land that would have been July this year as it is with all of this, I can push it off into September. I was thinking at first, I'll probably have to start feeding on September 1st and just, you know, make sure everything's okay. No, this will last them. This will last another several weeks. I'm hoping for mid-September now. And if I'm able to get that section that I was talking about, a few videos ago, I showed a section that I'm going to get fenced over the winter. I get that fenced, then I might not have to start feeding till October. Plus, I'm going to be getting, you know, the pastures that have, are kind of run down. Those are going to get uh, sprayed for weeds. They're going to get reseeded. They're going to, everything's going to get fertilized. Oh my goodness, I am one happy sheepy mama right now. Oh, goodness. Are we all running? Oh, there comes Rosie. Oh. Well, you should have kept running. You're so cute when you run. She's like, don't. I don't run for your amusement, lady. Come on. Don't be silly. So, that's what's happening here. I'm going to try to keep this one under 10 minutes so it'll fit on Instagram. But I wanted to share some running and walking sheep. And say, oh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you for the grass. Thank you for the trees. Ah, big fat thank you. All right, I'm stopping here at 10. Have a good day.